Okay, so we just got here to Amelia Groves. So they are just starting to build out here. You can see they have a lot of the land cleared. There's a couple homes up. They have like a pond right in the middle. We're gonna go check out the model. So they have a couple different styles. And we'll go check out actually all the models because it looks like they have about three or four models. So we'll go say hi to the salespeople, talk with them and take a little tour. All right, so we're in the community right now. We're gonna take a walk through. We just went into the main model homes, but we'll go tour those in just a little bit. The first one we're gonna go to is actually the furthest one because I'm a huge believer in getting the hard stuff done first. And this walk is brutal. It feels like it's a million degrees out here today. Um, it is a beautiful spring day, but woo, this humidity and this heat is killing me. I do have a little bit of a head cold, so maybe that's just making things amplified and worse, but we'll get through it. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain for you guys on camera. So here we are, this is the Ashby. This is a one story home. And the guy in the center said that this one is one of his favorite models. So we're gonna go ahead and pop on in, take a look. We're just gonna walk all over their grass. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> So, got a nice little covered area here. Upon walking in, have a nice entrance with a nice view of outside. Got an office area here, flex room with the French doors, really pretty half bath over here. It comes into the living room and you have the kitchen right here this is a typical pulte build i think i took you guys with me to isles of nona there's a model that's almost exactly like this one there and i just think that this model is really really nice um it's perfect for if you entertain if you host a lot you know get the gourmet kitchen it's just really really awesome it looks sleek it looks fresh I love the detail on the ceiling. Definitely a luxury upgrade. Um, we'll go this way first. So checking out the kitchen. I do know that Pulte, typically it's Whirlpool with Pulte. We have the pantry here, huge walk-in pantry. You have laundry room with the sink right here. Garage is gonna be here. And then you have the air handler in this little side closet. We're gonna come back out here. One thing I do like that Pulte does is they do have quite a few um, kitchens that are like this where they have like the excess storage. This is how it is in our house. We have a Pulte house and we have the storage on the sides here, which is super, super convenient. Um, especially if you have like, if you're cooking, baking and you have a lot of things, it's just helpful. It keeps everything out of sight, which is nice. You have the covered lanai out here. To this direction you have the guest room the closets are pretty standard like guest room closets you have i'm guessing this is like a linen closet pretty deep linen closet bathroom here another guest bedroom we're gonna go to the other side of the house so this is the same model style, the Ashby, as um, as they had in Isles of Nona. So it's cute. I'll put pricing on the screen for you guys as well. This reminds me of our bathroom. Hello. This reminds me of our bathroom at our house. Um, very Pulte style, but they did change this. This is new, this like shower window. They have actually two of them, if you can see behind the door. Um, that is kind of like a new upgrade. They have the shower niche and then it's a slightly different shower. This is actually funny. This is the same as ours as well. Um, literally looks just like our, our house where you have the closet in the back of the bathroom. So pretty spacious closet. You could always put California, um, closets in here or, you know, like the custom closets always makes it feel a little bit more organized. I do like the lighting that they used inside of this model. It's really pretty. 
I love these like big lights. I think those are fun. So anyways, this is the Ashby. We're going to go check out the next model. I'm going to give you guys a break from me rambling on and on and on. <laughs> and um, I will see you guys over in the next model. The joys of new construction. So windy out here. I'm so sorry, you guys, but I love new construction. I don't know what got me so obsessed with it, but I just love everything about new construction. <laughs> the sign literally says windy leaf. And it is so windy today. So this is the Elliott model. We're gonna head in again. It is so windy. I apologize, you guys, if you can't hear me perfectly. I'm not mic'd up today. This is very impromptu. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this Elliott model. So walking in, you see, um, kind of come into this foyer area. Stairs are off to the side. You have the windows up above. So you have five windows up here which adds in a lot of natural light. Very beautiful. Got the high ceilings. We head into the first bedroom, which is directly off of the entrance. There is kind of a linen closet type situation here. This looks like kind of like a guest master bedroom. I could be wrong, but it's kind of that style and aesthetic, especially with the dual vanities, the big bathroom. This quite frankly could actually be the master. We will see for sure. Some of the Pulte homes have a an additional master bedroom on the first floor, kind of like a mother-in-law suite. I love the Pompas. That's a great touch. They did a really good job with that. Um, we come in here. We're going to take a tour of the first floor first, and then we'll head upstairs. We have a really deep closet. This is like pretty deep for a coat closet which is nice. I'm guessing that this is gonna be a powder room, which it is. And then we come into a living room situation here and the kitchen. So it's a pretty spacious kitchen. We have the pantry off to the left. So you have a nice walk-in pantry here. This is the kitchen. You have a formal eating space over here. To the back, you have the covered lanai area. You have the garage here, laundry here. Let's go upstairs. Let's check out the upstairs area. So again, this is the Elliott model. Okay, we're heading upstairs. Again, there's a lot of natural light in this model which is nice. This is gonna be the air handler here. I already know that. We'll see what's in here. Got a storage slash linen closet. Over here we have a loft area, which I'm wondering if you could make this another bedroom and I'll show you guys why. There is a closet here that extends all the way to the back. Huge storage closet, like gigantic. So. There might be an opportunity to actually make this into another bedroom. So over here we have guest bedroom. They have it set up as a nursery. You have the dual vanity sinks for the shared bathroom. And here is the last bedroom. So I was wrong. The master is on the first floor. So it's right by the door so the kids can't sneak out. LOL, just kidding. But yeah, so this is the Elliott model. Um, let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the first one in the comments below. I'm curious to see which one you like better so far. And we're gonna head to the Jasmine model next. So we're just gonna go right next door and I'll see you over there in two seconds. Okay, so we're walking up to the Jasmine model. So this is another two-story bungalow style. So upon entering this one, you're walking into another foyer with the stairs right over here. We have, I'm guessing this is gonna be another master bedroom, but we'll see. We do have a full bathroom here. This is the guest room. So this is a nice little guest room on the first floor. Very interesting choice in light. Like, look at that. <laughs> Very interesting. So we're gonna come out here. 
We'll go upstairs in just a little bit, but we'll take a look at the first floor. So this is the kitchen. Cute kitchen, very cozy, giving cozy vibes. We have a, this isn't a breezeway. I always wanna call it a breezeway, but this is a lanai. So this is a covered lanai out here that goes out to the garage. So really nice for sitting out there. You can grill, have a glass of wine, maybe tequila if that's your thing. But it's nice because it blocks the wind on one side and then the other side's open. So you still have that like, you know, nice outdoor experience. And you can always screen that in if you wanted to. Nice, big living room where you can have a huge couch. This would be perfect for entertaining. It's an awesome size. Lots of natural light in this one too. Really love that. And then we have the additional bedrooms that are gonna be upstairs. So we're gonna head up there. Getting my workout in today. <sighs> my legs are still sore from doing that half marathon this weekend. So we have the loft up here. You could put a desk in over here, little lounge area, super cute. We have the master over here, master bedroom, show you guys the bathroom. So we have the dual vanity sinks, shower, and then the big walk-in closet. I love how many windows are in these models. It just makes it feel more spacious, more open. I'm guessing this is the air handler. We won't open that. And here we have another full bathroom, linen closet. We have the laundry room here. And then in here we have another bedroom with another walk-in closet for the bedroom. And then we have the last guest bedroom or additional bedroom in here with another walk-in closet. So this one's nice, um, especially if you know everyone needs more space, this would be a perfect model for that. Whenever I see you know every room has its walk-in closets, I just think that that's a really nice touch because you know, people do have a lot of stuff, so it's always nice to have that storage space. So let me know what you guys thought of this Jasmine model, and now we will head to the final two models and check those out. Okay, so we're walking into one of the last models that we're gonna view today. This is the Winthrop model. Okay, so we just walked in off the garage. And this one is their sales center, so they do have sales agents in this model, but this is where the bathroom would be. We have the kitchen off to your right. Beautiful kitchen, really nice, really open. I love the countertops. Got the living room set up here with the sliding glass doors. So this is nice. You can open this up, have a little breeze come through. Great for the winters here in Florida. You do have the covered lanai. And this community has a really low HOA. So I'll put the information on the screen for you guys as well. You do have storage here, which is really nice. It does go all the way under the stairs. Always a favorite of people. Especially here in Florida, you do not have basements. So it's nice to have the additional storage. Got the fun lighting. This is the master. Again, Pulte started doing this like kind of shower window thing, which is kind of cool. Um, you have the dual vanity here. Walk through, I'll just show you guys the shower so you can see. You have the shower niche, the light above. And then you have the walk-in closet. Nice and spacious. And now we'll head upstairs. You guys can see the upstairs. So upon coming upstairs, we're heading right into a loft. So again, you can do so much with a loft. You can put little movie room. You can do kind of like a family room. You can put desks in up here. Kind of whatever you 
want to do. You could put a bar in up here. You can really get creative with this space. It's just like an additional living room. I actually really like what they did with this, where you have like the two desks and then like that family. Like this just looks so cozy, so comfortable. Like you can just picture yourself having like movie nights or for me, it'd be like girls night. In here we have guest bedroom. Again, really nice with that walk-in closet. And then we have the full bathroom. We have two more bedrooms here. They do share a bathroom. So this is gonna be the shared bathroom, linen closet, shower at the end. Pretty big size room. You can fit a desk in over here. And then we have walk-in closet. And over here we have the additional room with a walk-in closet. This one's actually quite big. I was not expecting this for this room and it even has its own little window. So that's cool. I mean, if you needed like an additional storage, this would be perfect. I mean, this is huge. This is almost as big as the master. So that's pretty awesome. So someone who, you know, needs additional storage space, this one would be a really good home for you. And if you like to have like gatherings, this is really nice as well. So let me know your thoughts on this model and we'll go see the last one. Okay, so we are on to our last final model. This one is the Medina. Medina, Medina. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. We'll just call it the Medina. I do like the structure of the front, how it comes out and it has the curvature to it. Really nice. It's just one of those things where it's just in the details. It's different. It's pretty. So walking in, we come into a hallway, have a couple different ways we can go. We can go down this way, but I think we'll start here. Um, we have a full bathroom. This is gonna be the kind of like guest bedroom. I've seen some people turn this into an office. It just kind of depends on what you wanna use it for. There is a small closet off to your right. I think this is such a beautiful, beautiful room. Personally, I love it. I love how much light comes in. I like the shape of the room. To me, it just feels very good flow of energy. Garage right here, laundry here. And then we have another bedroom right here, closet. And this one has a full bathroom in it as well. So we're gonna come back out into the hallway. What's nice about this house is that everything's kind of separated so people don't feel like they're right on top of each other in bedrooms right next to each other, which is always nice, um, especially if you tend to have guests over, it's nice for them to have their own space. We do have the office flex room with the French doors. I like how this is set up where you can actually have two people working. I know that with work from home, it's a little bit of a, I don't wanna say challenging situation, but it kind of is when you're both on Zoom calls, but this is a nice, thought. <laughs> I like the thought of this. It's cute. Reminds me of like a library or a study. Like if only you didn't have to, you know, be on Zoom calls all day, that would be a great way to utilize that space. We have the kitchen in here, pantry right here. I'm going to open the pantry for you guys so that you can see what the pantry looks like. So not super huge, but you could probably put in some more shelving here. You can always do custom shelving in your pantry too, which is nice. You have the tray ceilings, nice size windows, and you do have the sliding window back here with the covered lanai. So this is a pretty deep covered lanai. You could do um, maybe an outdoor grill. So over this way, we have the owner's retreat. This is very similar to the ones that we've seen, the dual vanity. You got the new windows in the shower. Um, and then we have the closet towards the back. Very similar to the other ones that we've seen, a slightly smaller closet to this one. 
Again, super cute. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Which one was your absolute favorite? I know that keeping the names straight on these is going to be a little challenging, but um, I'm curious which one you thought was the best one. Which one would you move into? Comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for coming with me on this tour. Do not forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you need a realtor in Orlando or nationwide, reach out to me and my team. We would love to help you.